One of the big issues that we have heard today and we've talked about lately is that, that without surgery, the risk of suicide goes way up. Well, I am one of those parents who lived with a daughter who was suicidal for three years. Someone once asked me, wouldn't I just do anything to help save her? And I really had to think. And the answer was, no. Wow. That is Montana Representative Carrie Seekins Crow uh, found, I think, the only wrong answer to that question. Feel like it was an easy one. Would you do anything to save their life? Yes. Life is complex, families are complex. I don't casually jump into judging people's decisions when it comes to their family. But the correct answer to that is yes, you would do anything. And all of this, this recounting of her own struggles, her family struggles, and we'll get into more of that, was designed to support a ban on gender affirming care for trans kids. And what's amazing about this as you watch more of this video is she is talking about this difficult struggle that her and her family went through as a means to say you and your family should not get to go through this struggle. You should be legally barred. I struggled with this and failed as a parent, but whatever, I got to struggle. You don't get to, it's illegal. You don't get to make the decisions. It's amazing. She doesn't even seem to understand that that's what she's doing, but take a look at a bit more. I was not going to give in to her emotional manipulation because she was incapable of making those decisions and I had to make those decisions for her. I was not gonna let her tear apart my family and I was not going to let her tear apart me because I had to be strong for her. I had to have a vision for her life when she had none, was incapable of having none. What? I mean, I kind of feel like maybe she did. I feel like your idea of you being strong is anything but. I think that actually listening, caring, I think that there are some other stuff, the other things that you could have prioritized. But Francesca, what do you think? She just referred to her suicidal daughter as doing emotional manipulation. She's openly admitting that, like that she's saying that. That's so awful. Like even if you thought that a li- like a little bit, you don't you realize what that sounds like? Uh, you're just being dramatic. Oh God, you know, oh, I'm what gonna is- kill my dog. Like, and, and okay, so that's over there. The second thing is she's saying, I'd rather my child die than, and I'd rather your children die than be, get gender affirming care, than live their true selves uh, as a trans person. That's what she's saying. And then finally, this doesn't surprise me guys. We are talking every single day about gun violence and the lack of gun control, no matter how many children have to be murdered at the hands of psychopaths. Nothing ever changes. This is a death cult party. You think they care about gender from here? No. If her daughter was gunned down in a school, she would side with the gun. So why do we expect them to have empathy when it comes to trans people? They don't. Uh, by the way, uh, Blue Lizard Guts, thank you for the clarification. Unfortunately, I was getting all my information from the woman, which I should not have done because look at her and her whole personality. <laughs> um, Blue Lizard Guts is saying, I'm pretty sure the individual is actually her trans son. But we should use they pronouns until we are sure. That is a great point. Thank you for that. Um, and again, like I, I hate everything that was revealed about the effect that she had on her family. But beyond that, she is saying, I understand that people might be willing to take their own life. And I am going to legally bar parents from doing anything about it. Mm -hmm. That is amazing. The effort is currently on to force representatives in Montana to overturn the GOP speaker there, their decision to silence representative Zoe Zephyr. Uh, with journalists pointing out the individual members of the legislature that might be able to be pressured. If we bring up this tweet from Aaron Reed, um, it is going to be, I think, probably a monumental task to get some sense and sanity back into the Montana legislature. But there's a little bit of information that potentially, if you want to weigh in, might help to right this incredibly undemocratic wrong. If you're not familiar with this story, here is here is a few of the major steps along the way that got us to this point. So. 
First of all, Republicans in a number of different instances in Montana intentionally misgendered Zoe Zephyr. The first, by the way, openly transgender woman elected to the Montana legislature. So it came in personal form in terms of comments, it came in tweets, including you can see right here the call for censuring and all that. So it goes far beyond that. The Montana legislature has also along the way been passing some bills, including one stating that a student misgendering or dead naming a fellow student is not a legal discrimination unless it rises to the level of bullying, which it is by its very nature. Mm -hmm. And if it was a mistake, we don't need a law to make clear how that's adjudicated. People are reasonable. This is attempting to provide cover even when it is intentional bullying because they don't care. They don't care about the misgendering, they don't care about the dead naming, they don't care about the likely outcome of that sort of pervasive bullying and we know how deadly it can be. In any event, when attempting to speak out about some of these insane laws that they've been passing, they took issue with something that Representative Zephyr said. So we wanna remind you of that with this video. What I will say is if you are, by this bill and by the, what these amendments do, if you are forcing a trans child to go through puberty when they are trans, that is tantamount to torture. And this body should be ashamed. And the only thing I will say is if, I, if you vote yes on this bill and yes on these amendments, I hope the next time there's an invocation, when you bow your heads in prayer, you see the blood on your hands. So are those strong words? Yes. Are they justified? I think so, I certainly think so. What is the point of having a representative democracy if you cannot have a person from a group that has been attacked hundreds and hundreds of times legally in every state, including that state, to finally have someone serving an elected office from that group and then passionately defending the interests of that group and trying to stop them from suffering yet more abuse at the hands of the legislature. And so that's what that's what you saw, a speech, passionate, forceful, fiery. And because of that, they decided, uh, no, the representative doesn't get to speak anymore. Like literally silence. Now, they decided, I guess, to not boot the representative out of the legislature because they know how poorly that went in Tennessee. But this effectively is pretty similar. It's another massive, unacceptable, anti-democratic move. Francesca, what do you think? Yeah, I mean- she she's representing her constituency like this is like she was elected so she can speak out and say what she wants right like that that is and and I'm glad that she went went this far and was I mean and saying like I hope you see blood on your hands damn damn and we understand that when it comes to trans youth uh not allowing them to access gender affirming care absolutely increases their chances that they will be harmed, they might take their own life or and they absolutely are of course targeted um, disproportionately for hate crimes and violence. Um, and they're more disproportionately like to be un- homeless, right? To leave leave their homes um, and and be shunned by their families, all of these things. And so, you know, it is nice and yet so difficult and i know that the montana state legislature has allies in it and there are people who are defending zoe and there are people who are speaking out and saying that this is this is absolutely wrong and this is this is i mean i believe fascist was what one member said it was trying to silence people and censor people um but yeah, yeah this is this is the kind of thing this is what we do this is like the right speaks on behalf of corporations, massive tax breaks, and um, the fossil fuel industry. And uh, the so called left, I don't know, just decent people are like, hey, let trans people live their lives and don't criminalize them. And also let them survive um, in the world by not being like shot uh, through our massive gun violence. Like, you know, like let's yeah. rein in gun guns.